Hello YouTube family, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Sharita and welcome. And in today's video, we are discussing all things that are ultra feminine fragrances. So if you're in the market for a fragrance that is very elegant, something really classy, sophisticated, just super chic and feminine, then I have got you covered with these fragrances that we will dive into today. So without further ado, let's jump right in. All right, you guys, so before we start, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. Make sure that that notification bell is turned on, set to all, and last but not least, if you find any value in this content along the way, make sure that you do give the video a big thumbs up. It helps my channel to grow. So this fragrance like broke the internet, uh, it's brand new and y'all have been asking me to review this. I really honestly had no intent on purchasing, sniffing, reviewing, none of those things. And we are talking about none other than Cosmic Kylie by Kylie Jenner. Yes, you guys. So uh, this fragrance, it seems to be getting a lot of different things on people's skin. Some people are getting uh, lots of florals. I'm not. What I am getting is something extremely beautiful, sweet, vanillic ambery. You know, you do have like these touches of something that you can feel is like a white floral in there. So there is jasmine, there is peony, but essentially what you're going to get is something musky, fluffy, very sweet, very vanilla. And I just love those type of fragrances. So for me, this is surprisingly a win. So this is going to be one of those fragrances that is just perfect for this time of year. For me personally, I can see my daughter wearing this is super youthful. It's very easy to wear and no, it's not gonna be groundbreaking. Like I wasn't expecting her to release something complex or super interesting. I felt like this is gonna be perfect for her, her audience. <laughs> you know, something youthful, girly, easy to wear, sweet. That is what it is. So if you're expecting something just super unique and different from the designer market, you're not going to get that. However, I actually do enjoy this release. If you like fragrances like Cloud by Ariana Grande, um, if you like fragrances like Skin um, by Clean Reserve, I think that you would enjoy this scent. It's right in the same vein as, as those. And this is just one of those wonderful wear around the house, just go run my errands, go to bed type of scent for me. Um, and I just think that the young girlies are going to absolutely love it. I don't think this smells cheap. I saw someone, um, I think on TikTok saying that they got a, like a really cheap vibe from it. I don't. Again, people seem to be getting really different things on their skin. I get a very beautiful, sweet, ambery vanilla fragrance and I'm here for it. See, I've actually been wearing it <laughs> this week since I got it because it is one of those really sweet, addictive um, amber scents for me. As far as the performance on this, I would say I got on the low end of moderate wear, maybe about four and a half hours. You're gonna have to top it off for sure. Um, but yeah, I mean, nothing to write home about, but am I happy to have this in my collection? Will it be worn? Yes. All right, so you guys, this, oh, good Lord Jesus. So next up on this list is going to be from the house of MDCI. And yes, it is Pesh Cardinal season. Had to bring her out of retirement. This fragrance is absolutely stunning. This is a peach fragrance, but I think that this is so freaking classy and sophisticated, like I literally cannot. I think that if you're not even a peach lover, you will love this because this comes off as so beautiful and natural. This is a very natural smelling peach and it is not one of those that's gonna go off on your skin. Like a lot of peach notes can do that and I think that's why peach kind of gets a bad rep. But I love a peach note and this one is kind of like my queen of peaches. So in addition to the peach, you also have black currant and blackberry. You've got some artemisia in there giving it gorgeous complexity and you have coconut. All of that is in the top. Then in the mid, you have tuberose, lily and plum and you do get the beautiful plum note balancing out the peach and really giving that peach a little bit of um. In the base, you have beautiful grounding notes of musk, cedar, and sandalwood. This one is just a star fragrance for me when it comes to spring time. You put this on, you're going to feel so feminine and very, very pulled together, sophisticated, but there is just something lustful and desirable 
and it's hard to describe. You just have to get yourself a decant and just wear it. You're going to feel very feminine, but very sensual, fruity, floral, and just a really gorgeous woman. That's what you're going to get when you put this on your skin and you wear this and you're going to get the compliments, the women, the men, everyone's going to stop you because you're going to smell unique to anyone out there right now <laughs> walking these streets and you're going to smell so classy. So again, this one is Peche Cardinal and this is from the house of MDCI. All right, next up is going to be an oldie but goodie and it's new to me, okay? It's new to my collection. This is going to be Levant by Ormond Jane. I finally decided to get a sample of this one and when I smelled it, when I put it on my skin, it's so beautiful and fresh and the way it developed, the way I could get something fresh, but a little sweet, ultra feminine, just classy. And you know, this is what they specialize in. Ormond Jane has some really classy scents and Levant is just the epitome of that. So this is going to be your beautiful orange blossom fragrance. So this opens with notes of Tangelo, Mandarin Orange, Bergamot and Rose. And you have middle notes of Orange Blossom, Peony, Lily of the Valley and Jasmine. And it's rounded off with a base of musk, cedar and amber. And what I get from this, oh, it's like you are just, you're, you're walking, and the breeze is flowing through, you know, this white maxi dress that you have on. You're probably walking the streets of Italy <laughs> or you're just enjoying a very luxurious spring break on vacation somewhere. This is so feminine and so beautiful. I think this is gonna be one that you can wear to work. You can wear this to the all white party, day party. You can wear this one just around the house. Um, just anywhere. Really, this is going to be a signature scent type of fragrance. And I feel like anytime you decide to put Levant on, you are going to feel ultra feminine. So again, if that is your goal to smell like that, then this is, this is what you need in your life for sure. This is not going to be as sweet as say your love don't be shy or like this is a whole different thing it's not gourmandish at all but again that beautiful tangelo with the orange blossom and then this gorgeous musky quality this is just uh, chef's kiss and this one is levant by ormond jane next up is going to be the newest release from roja dove and this is elysium pour femme y'all this bottle is just stunning Mean. And to me, uh, the fragrance is just as gorgeous. Now, this is not going to be something just mind blowingly unique. This is going to be a very gorgeously composed floral and it's got some fruity facets and it's very woody. So, Roja Dove is known for having a ton of notes and same here. And I think that his fragrances they are really complex but i find that especially in his feminine line they are very wearable they're not hard to understand and i just think he is really good at composing gorgeous feminine fragrances so elysium pour femme it is fresh but above all it's very floral and what i love about this is it's not just white floral it's not a rose scent it's not it is a little bit of everything you have floral such as lily of the valley it's balanced with ylang ylang freesia you got jasmine and then in the base you have musk pink pepper which gives it a sexy quality sandalwood vanilla and cedar so this does open with all fruity notes it opens with the man in orange bergamot you've got some blackberry and some peach but again just really well blended none of the fruits really particularly stand out um and the same with the floral some people are saying they're getting orange blossom like this smells i just don't get any orange blossom nor is it listed now just because it's not listed doesn't mean it's not necessarily there but i do think this particular house is really good about divulging what's in their fragrances. That's why they have so many notes listed. And this is definitely not your typical orange blossom fragrance. Again, lots of different florals in here, including some geranium, which really does go beautifully with the fruits that are mentioned in the top. So if you are looking for a very chic, very classy, signature scent worthy uh, type of fragrance, then this is your girl. I always say that these floral fragrances that have a very woody uh, facet to them. And that is what this has. It really does give a grown woman vibe. Okay, your Creative Vintage is for her. This one, um, your Misty, yours. So like something about a woody floral fragrance 
it just hits different and i love this one for that okay longevity is wonderful on this i got a good six to eight hours no problem you can still smell it still projecting and i highly recommend it so get your nose on this one you guys this one again elysium porfim next up is also going to be one that is relatively new to my collection i think i've had it for maybe a couple months now but this is luby rouge this is one that i tried long ago had a travel size and for some reason i was like you know what why don't i have this then when i heard they were doing away with the little cute details on the bottles i said let me go ahead and get me a bottle with the old design um and add it into my collection because it's definitely one that i've always wanted and so here we are so this is without a doubt the most beautiful vanilla warm spicy powdery scent so this is going to be iris dominant you have to love that particular note to drive with this fragrance because it really is kind of i'm not going to say it's a star because all three of the notes that i mentioned the cardamom the vanilla the, um, the iris, they all share the spotlight in this fragrance. And it's so beautiful, so feminine. If you're a powdery fragrance girl and you want something that does have, you know, a little warm to it, beautiful vanilla um, dominant fragrance, then this is definitely one you should check out. And this one is Luby Rouge. Next up is another powder bomb, but when I tell you this thing is powdery, you have got to love your powderies. This is so powdery that this almost comes off as like finely milled, like ultra, ultra fine powder. And this is Poudre d'Or, and this is from the house of Me Sincere. Now, if you know you are not into super powdery, don't get nothing <laughs> with the name Poudre in the title. Like, I don't understand. So Poudre d'Or, is for the girl who loves a powder bomb. There is just something so beautiful and summery and just like the sun is beaming down on you. You're on vacation, you're literally on the beach and you just smell like a goddess. You smell like sun-kissed goddess, but it's powdery. Make it make sense, I don't know. And it smells like that because you have a very prominent tiara flower. Again, a note you would have to like to enjoy this one. So in the top you have the tiara, you have the jasmine, and then in the middle you have musk and iris. The base is composed of sandalwood and Madagascar vanilla, and it's just beautiful. If you enjoy fragrances that literally smell like just rich woman, without trying a very quiet luxury, which is kind of the, the theme for this house, I feel like. Um, old money, probably I would say 35, 40 and up. That's the club we getting in with Poudre Door. Then check this one out because it is absolutely a stunning powdery fragrance. And it's Poudre Door and this is from Me Sincere. Next up is going to be probably the most gorgeous little bottle in my collection. Yes, it is time to pull out the girl Pink Me Up. So this fragrance is without a doubt going to be for the girls who love it fruity. So you have a gorgeous blackberry note in here and it has a very beautiful bubbly champagne. So it's very effervescent. Um, you know, it kind of almost tickles your nose. Like the champagne according here is spot on and I feel like it doesn't get too strong or too like boozy, like maybe your Dombrosa. You also have that gorgeous rose. It's not overpowering. So this is going to be without a doubt your very beautiful spring and summer rose scent. So in addition to the rose, you have some orange blossom. I don't get a lot of orange blossom in here. It's just in the top along with the bergamot. But again, the rose, the blackberry, the champagne, um, it's really musky. So if you love musky fragrances, then definitely check it out. This one has a very beautifully done sparkling like patchouli it gets a little bit of earthiness but i feel like it's just adding to the sparkly quality of it paired with that champagne accord and this fragrance gives me i would say about six seven hours it's not super long lasting but as this began to age i feel like the performance got better on this one um and it's just absolutely gorgeous now in addition to the musk you also have some iris in there and you really do pick up on the iris on your skin it's not anything that's going to be super you know powdery um like some of the ones we just mentioned but i would say more so musky 
is beautiful. It comes alive so well on my skin and this is just perfect for hot summer day. Okay, you wanna feel refreshed, but you wanna smell sweet, you wanna smell feminine. That is what Pink Me Up is for, all right? It's definitely going to pick you up and you're going to feel very pink, all right? <laughs> Next up is going to be the most gorgeous vanilla orchid fragrance in my entire collection because, well, really, I don't have a lot of vanilla orchid <laughs> fragrances that are dominant. This is going to be Vanille Planifolia from my favorite nose, Quentin Beige. This fragrance is just absolutely feminine. And that is because you really get a prominent vanilla orchid. Vanilla orchid to me comes off very powdery, maybe a little musky to some, but it's very, very smooth. In addition to the vanilla orchid, you also have vanilla in the fragrance. And this is balanced so beautifully with some spicy notes. Now, this is not going to come off as something really um, like spicy, overly spicy, but there, it's just this hint of spice that adds a little warmth up under everything and it makes it quite wearable all year. If you're someone that really does enjoy a fragrance that makes you feel very soft and full on in your light feminine energy, that is what this is for. This one again is Vanilla Planifolia by Chloe and this is featured in the Atelier des Fleurs collection. All right, you guys, next up is a Mind Games. You know I had to mention something from Mind Games because I do florals like no other. So nothing makes me feel more feminine than a good floral fragrance. And they just really seem to make some stunners. So this one is Castling. And this one was sent over to me by So Guard um, several months ago. So I've had it in my collection for a little bit, but this in my mind it's like the queen of fig fragrances so you have this gorgeous fig leaf and it is <sighs> addictive this is so stunning i literally cannot but again it is giving grown woman because you have a very very woody quality about it the woods in here are very smooth though they're not gonna come off as something really heavy or you know leaning a little masculine nothing like that so you have sandalwood you've got vetiver some other woody notes mentioned but it definitely does come off as a woody floral fragrance in the mid you have iris lotus and freesia that just sounds like feminine that sounds like a woman and then for the top to have this gorgeous fig leaf some sea salt and some bergamot you put all that together it is a combination for ultra luxe femininity in a bottle and that is what castling gives me love this one if you're a lover of fig or fig leaf you just please just please do yourself a favor and get a sample of this one i, I would not steer you wrong green fragrances fig fragrances if that's your vibe this is your girl again castling from the house of mind games and don't forget you can always save 10 percent when you shop mind games direct be sure to check the description box below for any details. Next up is going to be Porfim, and this is from the House of Argos. And this is going to be one of those fragrances that just comes off as very sophisticated, grown woman. Um, I would say maybe this even wears a little mature, but for some reason, this comes out very aldehydic to me. They don't have aldehydes listed, but maybe it's the way they have done the Lily of the Valley that's in here. And then you get that lavender. Something about this just feels like like this could fall right in line with a Chanel fragrance or something like that. Like this smells like something that they would make. But this one is just so gorgeous, you guys. It's so gorgeous. This one, definitely love it for a sniff, but it's very citrusy. Then you got the lavender. It's also like warm, spicy, aromatic. All of that sounds like it's going to be something quite unisex, but it's not. So this opens with notes of violet leaves bergamot, ginger, lemon, and orange. You have mid notes of iris cloves, pink pepper, lavender, jasmine, lily of the valley, Bulgarian rose. Round it off with base notes of amber, white musk, vanilla bean, tonka bean, and ylang ylang. So if you're looking for something that is really bright, uplifting, that's got like a really sparkling quality to it, again, with this just this aromatic touch, then I think you will really enjoy this one. I love it. This one again is Argos Parfum, and this is from the House of Argos. You guys, you can also save 10% when you shop Argos Direct. 
Check the description box for details. So this last one, you guys, certainly not least on the list is going to be one that really did blow my mind when I first smelled it. And it was just immediate love for me. It is none other than All Feminine by M. Mikola. And All Femininity, <laughs> that's the energy we're trying to get. All Feminine has hit the nail on the head, you guys. So this literally is going to be for the girl who just loves a stellar, Neroli or orange blossom scent. This actually features both. So I think you have Neroli at the top. You also have some orange blossom in the mid. You got some pink pepper in there, which really does add to the sensual allure of the fragrance because something about this one, you know, is giving that really uh, sexy, but chic and very classy vibe. Like all of that rolled into one. That is what I get from here. Something really narcotic about the way this wears on the skin. So you, I think you do have to like it a little green. This has the pedigree note in here, but it's not, it's, it's not going to go all deep. This fragrance performs. It is very bold <laughs> and you don't need a lot. This is, I will say this is beast mode, um, orange blossom and if you have an event, you want everyone to smell you, you want to really capture, you know, attention with your fragrance, but something still very suited for hot weather, you know, spring, summer, then this is your girl. And it is a star for me. So I absolutely love this one. If you've never tried it, get your nose on it because if you're an orange blossom girl, this is going to be a winner. All right, you guys, so that is our video for today. Drop me a comment below, let me know your thoughts. What are some of your favorite feminine fragrances that you pull out to just make you feel ultra feminine. I am dying to know, drop me a comment. And you guys be sure that again, you are subscribed to this channel. Be sure that you give the video a big thumbs up. It has been real. I love you all YouTube and I will catch you guys on the next one.